Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to Slay the Spire. Uh, if you've been watching my videos for the past uh, week or so, I think it was. I can't remember when I mentioned it in the video. But uh, basically, I wanted to record this and it wouldn't work. Uh, they patched it. It works. Then it doesn't work. Basically, I have to restart Steam sometimes uh, to get it to go to work. But it works. It's lovely. Uh, at the moment, I've spent like 30-something hours in-game, which is nice. Um, and yes, uh, I've unlocked everything for one of the characters, and I'm one unlock away for the other character. But anyway, we should explain everything as we go. Today, I'm going to play as the Ironclad, the first character, um, because I'm better with him, I'll be honest. <laughs> Even though he wasn't the one that I won the game with the first time, which is bizarre, but whatever. Anyway, this is a deck building game. And uh, here we have Moby Dick uh, basically giving us rewards. At, when you first start the game, you won't have this screen purely because you only get to talk to him uh, when you've uh, tried and failed a run once, basically. Uh, now then, he's going to offer us a reward. What shall we take? Uh, starting Relic for this character is too good. I, I never get rid of it. I've tried it, and I always die. The other character, you can do it. This guy, no. No, just no. Uh, max HP, choose a rare card. Play a random common relic. I think, you know, I'm going to go with a common relic. Regal Pillow. I like it. I like it. This, this is going to end well, probably. Maybe not. Anyway, uh, here's the map. Uh, we are going to go all the way up here and fight the boss up the top. Uh, these uh, little uh, horned fellows here are basically regular fights. Oh, there it goes. A legend here, isn't it? Enemy... Campfire's rest uh, chest is treasure. The little bag with the money on is merchant. Question marks are unknown. And the big dude... Yeah, the dudes with the big horns are elites. One day I will learn to English. Anyway, shall we? What we got? Slime boys. Um, I don't think the little the little spike slimes do it. I'll probably be proved wrong now. But um, the grey ones make you frail. And these ones uh, weaken you. The acid slimes. Uh... If you're confused about anything, don't worry. This game is so self-explanatory. I love it. It's... Oh, oh, yes. Right. Anyway. First off, we are going to nuke the little one. And I'm going to put up some block. End turn. Cards get discarded. He's going to hit me with a negative. And I got a wound. Lovely. Uh, it's going to do bash. Make him vulnerable. So strikes do more damage. And away you go. This thing is so addictive. Um, I cannot rate this game highly enough. <laughs> um, it's in early access at the moment, but I, pff, as early access games go, it's pretty up there. Um, there we go. We healed up to 74. Now then, we get to pick cards. I, I like Pommel Strike, I'll be honest. Um, just for the card draw alone without the good damage associated with it. But um, we're going to go through all the question marks here and see uh, what we get. Uh, upgrade two random cards, lose 16 HP. Now, normally that's pretty good, but considering the only things in here that I'd actually like to be upgraded is Pommel Strike and Bash, because everything else is trash, uh, I'm actually just going to leave. I'm sorry, dude. But that's just the way it is. Uh, right, what have we got now? Potions. Yeah, right, we'll buy potions. Uh, Swift Potion, Energy Potion, Block Potion. Lovely. Uh, that should help. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. Um, right. That, uh, the energy potion, the swift potion, synergize quite well with each other because you draw cards and you can use the energy potion to give energy to use the thing. Also, that's what the little ball down here is. is how much energy you get to use. Oh, the jaw worm. Right. Bash. Defend. Because he hits you quite hard on the first turn. But then he does like a... What is it? A buff on himself, I think it is. Yeah. Um... And Bash makes him vulnerable for two turns, so... Hit him hard second turn. Bang. Lovely jubbly. So I need, like, two strikes to finish that off. Or a Bash or a Pommel Strike or anything will kill him, basically. Oh, yeah, I forgot your defense. Right. <clears throat> Take it back. Right, here we go. Murder him with that. Murder him with that. Everything's fine. Give me something good, bad man. Hmm. Now, when stuff says exhaust, what that basically means is for that combat... Because up here, in your deck, with 11 cards. Exhausting doesn't get them rid... Doesn't get rid of them from your deck. Only gets rid of them 
for that singular combat. So it's a weird kind of um, skill-based deck that can be quite good. Um, I actually won one of my runs using an exhaust deck. Um, it was complete carnage. I didn't understand anything that was happening. All I knew is that I was losing cards and gaining cards, and it was great fun. Um, so with that in mind, we're going to take Sentinel. Because Sentinel is basically a better defend. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, he had ice cream! Ah, Ice cream is, like... For my money, the best relic in the game. Um, I love it. Uh, ooh. Uh, hmm, yes. Bloodletting's good. Exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand and gain five block for each. Uh, I'm going to go Rampage. I like Rampage. It does... Uh, the more it cycles through your deck, the more damage it does. And if you have a small deck... It does a lot of damage very quickly, especially when you upgrade it. Right. Bash. Strike. Gremlin knob. You don't look much like a gremlin, but far be it from me to dictate what you are just from your appearance. Right. Uh, this guy has a thing where he gets strength when you play a skill, which is basically all of your defense. So you have to raise this guy. There's no other way around it. Um... Unless you're the other character and you just poison the Christ out of him really quickly. But eh, even then you're going to be taking a lot of damage. But uh, this guy shouldn't hurt us too badly. He's he's my favourite elite to fight, usually. Oh, marvellous. More strikes. Isn't that nice? Because he does a lot of damage to you, but in a short space of time. And as this character, he can kill him very quickly. Bash him. Strike him. There we go. Now, losing that much HP against an elite ain't too bad. Paper Frog, spelt with a PH. I like it. Enemies with Vulnerable take 75% more damage rather than 50. Mmm. I like it. So, we want to take uh, a lot of vulnerable cards, if at all possible. Gain 12 blood. See, I like Flame... Well, I say I like Flame Bear. I don't like Flame Bear, really. It's alright, but it's just too expensive. Like, I know it gives you 12 block, but... It uh, Ah, if it was one, I'd take it. Um, you know what, we'll just skip card. I, I refuse. I'm not even going to bother looking at the shop because it will just demoralise me because I haven't got any money. Um, we shall go to campfire and rest and hopefully fight another elite. Yeah, there we go. Proceed. Chest. What did we get? Bleep the good. Mango. It's alright. <laughs> no, no, nothing more, nothing less. Um, now, if we go right, we fight one elite. Let's be, let's be bold. Let's be bold as brass. See if we can't take on two more elites. <laughs> oh lord, well that was terrible. I got, I drew a defend. These guys are annoying. They start off as just crap enemies that you can kill quite easily, but. The longer they're around, the stronger they get, and that, like, if you've got a crap deck, which can happen from time to time, especially as the other character, um, they could end up doing like twenty old damage to you, and it's just not fun. It 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 highly perturbs me. Um, yes and yes, thank you very much. Move along. Uh, fire. Oh, fire potion. Fire Potion has got me out of a lot of scrapes, I'll be honest. Um, perfected Strike. Nah. I'm going to skip cards again. We're going to skip a card and a potion. I'm a rebel. He's a rebel! Sorry, Star Wars reference. Right. <clears throat> These guys are pains in the dicks. Um, <laughs> it's the only way to do it. Now, there's a few ways you can take these guys. Because the ones with the green swirly stuff over them will put daisies in your deck. Um, and what a daze does is essentially a dead card. It just fills your deck with just c card that does nothing, and it gets exhausted when it uh, enters your hand. Um, so they're just fillers. They basically stop you from getting the cards you actually want. Uh, now, because there's three of them, 
it can get quite annoying, especially because these two are synced up with each other. So you can murder this one, so you end up fighting these two. What I tend to do, though, is take it on the chin from this one and try and murder the one with the le least HP of the other two. However, they've all got artifacts, so that negates the debuff, which is what vulnerable is. So I'm going to have vulnerable anyway, because it's like my primary damage. Ah! Then I pulled a ram. Oh, I should have used energy potion, really. Oh, well. Misplays. Misplays already. I like it. I like it a lot. Come on now, sunshine. Let, let, let me have it. Okay, I'll take it back. I don't want it. <laughs> um, swift potion. See what we pull. Hmm. You know what? That's worth it. Take the energy potion. Lovely jubbly. Um, wall up this one. There we go. Just like that. So I'm only going to take three damage. There you go. Dazes. Isn't that nice? God damn it. Now then. Uh, rampage. Pommel. Ah, oh, I got bashed. Damn it. Luckily, my deck is still small enough that I can cycle cards quite quickly. Uh, which is uh, can be advantageous, also can be bad. The, the current thing that people go on about is that you need a thin deck. And I, I although true, 99% of the time it is true. However, sometimes a thick deck can be beneficial to you. So it, it's on a case-by-case -case basis. Not always, but I've done quite well with a thick deck from time to time um so take that for what you will this guy's dead this turn provided i pull any kind of attack there we go he's dead we got a relic what did we get oh memory it's a slow play relic that one next two curses i obtain are negated Oh, God. See, this one, exhaust one card. If it's a status or cut, Immolate is just a pointless card. Because you never get statuses or curses enough. Like, in this fight, yeah, sure, but they're going to get exhausted anyway, so... Uh, like, it, it can be an okay card, but only if you're coming across stuff that does status cards to you. Reckless Charge, I despise because it gives you vulnerable. And Sword Boomerang is just kind of bad. It can be good. I, actually, no, I take it back. I've used Sword Boomerang in one of my successful runs and it was quite fun. But, um. Oh, uh, we don't look at Smith. We are going to Smith Rampage. So when it gets cycled, it gains 8 damage as opposed to 4. Uh, which I like very much. Ah, Lagavulin. Egg boy. Um, basically, another one that you have to race, kind of. Not always. Uh, depends how much sustain you've got, but I'm just going to wallop him with everything i got and uh, see where we go from here. So, turn one was basically free damage because he's stunned. Uh, oh, excellent stuff. Rampage. Strike. Strike and turn. Hit me. Stop trying to hit me and hit me! Bash man! Oh, lovely. Oh, yeah. Bash. Rampage does 28 damage. I love it. Give me more turns like that, please. Oh, Lord. If I can get Rampage to cycle like that. Oh, that'd be beautiful. Right. Hit him real hard. He's dead next turn. So, that is marvellous. Strength down, dex down, I don't care. You're dead, shut up. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here, egg boy. Mat, 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 materioshka. Russian dolls, basically. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Next two chests you open contain two relics. Excludes boss chests. I love, I love this thing. I love this relic. It's really good. Uh, choose exhausted. Again, good. Again, good. If you're going to do exhaust decks, corruption's really good. And I've got an exhaust card in the form of Sentinel, although that is a slow place. I could just use that as a defend, in all fairness. 
If I wasn't going to take corruption, I'd take thunderclap because I like it because it does vulnerable to everybody. And I value crowd control just a little bit higher than I do uh, fun synergies, I'm afraid. Receive golden idol. Injury is the least painful. Like, I could take 23 damage or lose 7 max HP, or I could just take injury, which is basically a dead card. And it got wrecked by Omamori anyway. So, uh, <laughs> if anything, I would have liked to have taken injury just to save Omamori for a more malignant curse later on. Because <laughs> there are some, like, real bad curses in this. Like, really bad. Um, isn't that nice? Uh, end turn. I can't remember. Th this guy's weird because he... Will hit you quite hard when he's in this mode, but then after you do so much damage to him, he'll transform into a defensive mode. Uh, which I'm hoping I'll be able to do to him now. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw up a block, and uh, there we go. I need to do three more damage to him, then I would have got him to transform. In a weird way, it's kind of good. So now I get to wail on him quite badly. Ooh. Now then, do I whack him with all of my attacks for the one turn of vulnerable, or do I make him... Uh, you know. Yeah, 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 whatever, no one cares. Pansy. Now he's got a thing called uh, Sharp Hide, which every time I attack him, he's going to reflect three damage back to me, which doesn't sound a lot, but the more attacks you do, it can be quite painful. Um, I'm going to have to do it anyway, because I've got Rampage in my hand. And I want it to cycle and gain more damage. So, take a little bit there. Take two damage tails, that's not too bad. Not bad at all. Thunder... Ooh. Oh, I'm going to resist temptation. I have to, I have to defend. <laughs> oh, Lord. Just take the six. Everything will be fine. Here we go. This is what we're looking for. Hit me! Hit me! 20 damage, is that all you got, boy? Oh, yeah. Um, let's just do 10. Marvelous. 42 damage on Rampage with the Vulnerable. I love it. Transform like Optimus Prime, you bitch. I'm not suggesting I'm going to win this run, because this game... Some people consider this game easy. Some people consider it quite difficult. I, I'm, I don't know whether I'm just bad. Uh, yeah, no, it's probably because I'm just bad. But I, I can get, I can reliably get to beat the second boss. Third floor is anybody's guess. Um, hmm. I'm gonna bash you. I'm gonna defend. Because he's going to transform next turn, and that extra vulnerability will help out immensely. Also, I forgot he takes extra damage, because I've got, um, Paper Frog. You're supposed to transform this to- oh, God. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> um. Yeah, sure. Hit me. I don't care. 20 HP left. Ay. Ooh. 56 damage. It's going to instantly make him transform. Um, hit him with that. Hit him with that. He's down to 21 HP. This is when the game gets exciting, children. Isn't it great? Oh, yeah. Right. So we're in a slightly precarious situation. Um, I immediately take that back, of course. He's dead. Uh, everything is fine. Vulnerable for the win, baby. Right. Hail to the king, baby. Immolate. You already know my thoughts now. Juggernaut. Uh, and another one of the pointless cards that I just don't care about, I'll be honest. Bludgeon. I love it. Does immense... Uses all your energy, but is does immense damage. Ooh. Now, White Rhino gives you potions from him correctly. Yes. Choker and Philosopher's Zone are very similar. They give you extra energy, which is good. 
However, they both have possibly the worst downsides of all of the ones that give you extra energy. Um, Choker Chain lets you play... Is it six cards? Yeah, six cards a turn. And this one gives every enemy two strength. So it basically means I have to race everything. And bizarrely, I'm actually going to go with Philosopher's Stone. <laughs> Burnout, no. Blaze of Glory, why don't you? Hey, marvellous. Hmm... I want to get to an early... I'm thinking this. What? Well, yeah. Early shop. Fighting elite. Everything marvellous. Oh no. 12 damage. Whatever will I do? Here. Suck on that. And there you go. Because I've got 4 energy now. I can play 3 cards with Bash. And there. It's pretty good. My damage... Oh. Yes. 56 damage. You are dead. Ha oh. Ooh. Clash. Clash is just a good card. It's weird. My father is fine with me. <laughs> One moment, ladies and gents. <laughs>
Uh, I hit you with a palm. We'll see what we get. Rampage. Play Rampage, play Defend. There we go. Yeah, no, screw it. I will fight the Elite. I've got two regen potions and I've got freaking vampirism. I should be fine. Should. Num, num, num. Uh, he's going to hit me for 10. I'm going to... Oh, you son of a... Die faster, please. Die faster! You dick. You dead vulnerable man. I'm trying to think, is there anything scary on the second floor that could kill me? The answer to that is yes. Um... Carnage is good. Um, now nah, I'm just going to skip again. Nope, I refuse. Uh, see, if we go the elite, we got two more fights after that minimum. And I no, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> My HP is just too low. I'm terrified, especially with Philosopher's Stone as well. Just no, no, not do it. Um. I was going to pommel, but you know what? I'll just bite and get my HP back up. Always take out the little one, because she just buffs this dude to ridiculous levels. And he's already a pain in the dick anyway. I'm surprised these aren't elites, to be fair, these two. Ooh. Ooh are just a little bit. Ooh are a little bit more. Um, I can nuke you. Or I can do ridiculous damage to you. I can't let you live. I don't know why I did it that way around. I should have just used bludgeon on you. Um, there we go. Have some sentinel. Hit me! Ow. Not that hard. I'll tell my dad on you. <laughs> Rampage. Bite. Clash. There we go. 30 damage! Am I actually going to die here? Oh god, I think I'm actually going to die here. <laughs> oh no, right. Bite, bite. Defend, defend. Drink a regen potion because I'm shitting myself now. <laughs> How did this get this bad? You are a dick, sir. Stop doing that. Ooh, well, yeah, if I ba I got a bash. The question is, well, if I'm gonna bat, yeah, I'll bash you. I'll bite you, and I'll cleave. He's dead. I'm alive. Heavy blade. I know. I said I like crowd control. I was. I was gonna go for um. Cleave, but pff, heavy blades just so good. It's so good, I love it. Uh, I've still got Armor Mori, sure. Oh, we got shovel. That is just beautiful. Anchor, twenty-five gold. War Sentinel plus defend plus. Well, it's something, I suppose. We could die here. <laughs> oh God, no, no, go away, you peasant! I hate you. Oh, God. Channel Wainer, Anakin Skywalker. I hate you. Uh, right, uh, Bash. Heavy Blade. That's one nearly dead. Um, can you tell I'm slightly frightened? <laughs> Damn it. What did I get credit card for? I should have got in flame. Oi. Not enough. Mm. Bludgeon, and we will rampage. I was tempted to feed, but I, I want to get. I want rampage has to cycle. Damn it! It's what I'm focusing on at this stage. Oh, good. Right, uh, defend. Sentinel, Thunderclap, uh, 
Clash. Bomb strike. Oh, so close. I'd love to have killed him. <laughs> uh, just one of those things. If I'd have gone for the other one, I would have killed him. Which is ironic, but there you go. Um, oh, Lord. Yeah, sure. More Thunderclap. Do it. Defend, defend. Heal me, please, Lord. We've got one turn of regen left. Oh, yeah. And they're dead. Holy Jesus. Uh, ang anger plus. I've tried a deck doing just anger pluses, and it gets you up to a point. <laughs> I always die on the second floor. I love this card, but it's... No. Um, skip. It pains me to leave Heavy Blade behind. It's like one of my favourite... Oh, God. We're going to die. <laughs> we're going to die! Uh, oh, this turn sort of plays itself, really. Defend. Sentinel. Thunderclap. Kill this dude first. The slaver has to go. Because he hits you with this stupid bloody... I'm going to drink the ancient potion as well because it's been an artifact. Stops the debuff. I can't remember if he debuffed me on the first time. Or... Um, but this guy, he can hit you with this ability that stops you from playing attacks for a turn. And uh, he's going to try doing it now, but luckily he's dead. Um... Bite, bite, defend. I'd, I, I, I wanted to use Pommel, but I, if I pulled Bludgeon, I'd be very upset. If I pull Bludgeon next turn, I can one-shot this dude, and that just leaves me with this guy. Which means I will... Oh, thank you, Lord. Die. Eat that. <laughs> Edgier seat stuff is terrifying. Stop hitting me. Oh, God. Uh, uh, yeah, Thunderclap. I have to Sentinel. Um, that was 24. That was 14, but puts Vulnerable for two turns. Let me try it. Please, Lord. <laughs> Lord Jeebus, if you can see me now, please let me kill this dick. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to live for a turn. Something, I suppose. Owie. Oh, you're dead. Bye. <laughs> Frozen Eye, an entirely pointless relic. Thank you very much. Uh, crap, crap, and kind of crap. Although, it's a power and it gives me... Never before have you seen a U-turn so fast in your life. Right. Rest. Thank you, Regal Pillow. I love you. Question mark. Please don't be combat. Oh, thank Lord. 75 gold. Remove a card from your deck. I want to remove like a... Uh, I almost want to say I want to remove a defend because I've got sentinel. No, what? Let's yeah, let's yes, let's remove a basic defend, and let's fight. Oh god, why? Why do you give me these obtuse enemies? Uh. uh you know what? Sure. Put up more block. Try to minimise damage. Hopefully I'll be able to kill this guy next time, especially if I pull bludgeon. Oh my lord. It's like God's looking down on me. Look at that. He is dead. And I'm gonna pull metallicize. So that gives me four block every turn, which is just beautiful. Ooh. Uh, th oh, I just no, I don't know. 
See, I've got to defend. I've got Thunderclap. I've got Clash. 14 or 24. Sorry, dude. I'm sorry, Rampage. I love you. <laughs> Come back, please. I want to try getting... A it's a shame Rampage is, like, a slightly rare card. Because I'd love to, like, try a Rampage-only deck. Because that just sounds great. Oh, can I kill you? No. Damn it. Um, I can get close, but no cigar. It's not like I can defend anyway, so... There we go. So he's dead next turn. We are going to make it to the boss. Uh, Thunderclap. Rampage. Pommel Strike. He's dead! Uh, I do like Clothesline. But I've got too many cards already. Because uh, I'm going for a thin deck. 17 is a bit on the thick side for a thick deck. <laughs> Rest. We're up to 65. Thank the Lord. I'd love to have dug for a relic, but... Um, this could this fight could go well. It could go very badly. It all depends how much damage I can do to him in a short space of time. I think I've got the burst damage to do to him. Um... Because he's got this stupid bloody hyper beam attack that does like 50 damage or something. It's it's evil and I hate it. And uh, I, I I hate him. Uh, uh, bludgeon Rampage. There we go. These things are stupid as well. They're going to steal cards. You've got Sentinel which is bad. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you've got Heavy Blade which isn't so bad. Heavy Blade would be much better if I had like a strength increase. Um, Thunderclap. I want to kill this one. Hit you. Give me something good. Hey, two bites. He's got 14 HP left. That should be fine. What are you going to do? Defend? Yeah. Plus strength, which is bad. 12 times 2. That's pretty bad. <laughs> Uh, we get to Clash. There's Thunderclap, everything with us. Uh, bite you. Uh, okay. I was gonna bash. But now I'm not gonna. I'm gonna defend. I'm gonna Rampage. And I'm gonna Clash. This guy will die eventually. But it's... Th this dude I'm worried about when he gets... Oh, yeah, boy. Uh, you know what? Just just get rid of it. Get get that thing out of here. Now I've just got you to worry about. Got 200 HP. 53 damage. I think we're dead. Uh, clash. Uh, we'll pommel. See what we get. We got bite. Forty. Uh, I think we're dead. Can't be asked to do the mess. <laughs> I think we're dead. Yeah, we're there. 36 and he's... Oh. No! <laughs> Shit. Well, that went well. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, died on the second boss. Wasn't well, so bad. That's a dickhead of a boss anyway on the second floor, I'll be honest. But that well, is what it is. Anyway, join me again next time for some more Slay the Spire. Uh, and if you enjoyed, please leave a like. And if you are feeling generous and are a legend, hit that subscribe button. Because it, it, it helps me out. It does. It gives me a reason for living. Uh, that sounds nonchalant, but I do actually mean that. Anyway, uh, and join me again next time. Until then, take very good care of yourselves. Ta-da, everybody.